Hello everybody, welcome to another daily dose of gaming news and all that good stuff and as always I also publish on Rumble on the blogger site as an archive post thing and for extra support everything is also on Patreon and any kind of updates on anything regarding channel I will uh, post it on the Twitter X thing um, later I might be able to do some uh, streaming, not sure yet uh yesterday i was about to do something but uh, i didn't have like enough time uh i, I just made some uh, recordings on the um gaming series here uh but tomorrow we will have uh Jedi fallen order and then afterwards the um, mutant year zero here um what else um yeah i will try to do some elden ring again i need to find out um uh, some death training. I, I, I'm not even playing death training at the moment. I don't have time to to, to do a lot of offline gaming. Um, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I need to prepare myself for the for the DLC on the Elden Ring, um, and I want to get ready for that before I uh, feel comfortable <laughs> of going for for death training. Uh, but yeah, that's how the scheduling is working at this moment in time. Uh, again, uh, just pay attention on Twitter today. Uh, when I'm available, I will uh, do the. T uh, I will tweet out the, the stream there. And again, I'm streaming at the same time uh, on uh, YouTube and Rumble. Uh, so uh, I will leave it uh, your preference there. Um, news: We got uh, Seasonic now launches power cables for the 12 volt power thingy there the h plus plus so the revised version let's say which basically is the sense uh, sense cables shortened so um in uh the event of again this is a pet peeve of mine of the event that the connector is not well plugged in which is something that has still uh, amazed me that they didn't go around and fix these goddamn issues uh in any other uh, connector that you plug in in your motherboard or any other component if it's not uh well plugged in usually it doesn't work and you when you plug it in you know that it's plugged in because of the click that it makes when you have this kind of uh, uh springs here let's say especially on the motherboard on even pci 8 uh, or 6 uh, pins that you plug in you know when it's plugged in you just hear the click and you know it's basically plugged in there is no need to uh, confirm reconfirm throughout the, the time you use the, the your pc uh, which is something that it's still not fixed on um on the, on this uh, 12 volt power uh, again um it's a flawed design um that uh, incurred in the burning of uh, and uh, the, mainly the connectors on the gpu side we had uh, a few issues here and there, but it's like a couple that I saw regarding on the PSU side, uh, uh, melting the connector there. And uh, the manufacturers, again, they went for this um, uh, connector design there and they just did the, they are doing the color thingy there. So people know, at least from the PSU side, that uh, the cable is very well connected uh, but then uh, again we got this on the uh, gpu side and it still sags a lot because again um the the, the fact that you again we got low tolerance low tolerance for failure there um uh, when it connects uh it still wobbles if it is well uh, plugged or fully connected you get some wobbly that uh, might give uh, away a little bit of the the the, the secure connection there Again, this is, I don't know what they're going to do here. Um, again, I, I refer this as uh, one of the things that um, basically, um, between choosing the, the GPU that I have now, which is the 7900 XTX from uh, SFX, uh, like the 10 Merc, whatever it's called. I got the, the my system information on the description below, or the PC part uh, thing there. Uh, the list there it's on the description there uh, and between the 4080 uh, I was able to choose between both of them with the budget that I had and I just went for the for the AMD one and one of the reasons was this connection I was not sure uh, I was not sure I, I knew this is not a secure connection because the, it was basically at the time we saw a lot of those 4090s uh, connector melting 
issues and I just again uh, as a, a precaution for me not to be able to, uh, not be able uh, for me not to every day make it uh, sure that that thing is well secured I just went for the 7900 XCX and also the fact that they have similar perform uh, rasterized performance uh, it has more VRAM the the MD version uh, of this GPU um, and for the, the the workloads that I have it was kind of ir irrelevant um, to a certain degree except that I got the bonus of having more VRAM to do more productivity work when I need to um, and but yeah this is one of the reasons that I uh, this cable and the, the, this uh, flawed design uh, which induces user error again it's it's a, it's a flawed design it's basically it's not the the, 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 the when you design something that uh, induces this many errors from the user part uh, it's uh, you have to blame for on the design you cannot uh, it, it doesn't make sense uh, blaming all the users even though for sure i'm assuming that will, that there was uh, an x amount of percentage of users that didn't manage to connect this properly and uh, the, then of course the gpus went bust uh, but yeah but when you see this kind of because we never saw something like this happen uh, in any kind of new GPU or any kind of component or uh, the, the 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 eight PCI things there, it's never happened. And again, it's a flawed design. Uh, again, the the the, the fitting uh, connection there and the fact that I, again, for what it is, 600 watt powers delivery from uh, this single cable here, um, it doesn't have. A higher tolerance on delivering the cable itself and the fact that the connection uh, the physical connection here uh, the 12 pins there that I think they are too small for what they are trying to achieve I don't think they have enough um, tolerance in terms of uh, power handling on on the cables themselves uh, but yeah it is what it is uh, again a seasonic launch it the reverse the the H plus plus so the it has the sense pins shortened just in case uh, so supposedly if you don't uh, fit fully uh, it doesn't deliver the full power the 600 watts so you don't incur supposedly on having the the connector melted there uh, on the crucial side we got they starting to launch uh, ddr5 memory kits uh, with 12 gigabytes capacity this is this is so dim thing so it's more uh, aimed at uh, laptops and the such um good to see um because at this moment in time again 8 gigabytes is on the verge of li of the limits of uh, like minimum amount of memory and of course on the cheaper side we still have uh, see a lot of 4 gigabyte laptops uh, sometimes you pay a huge premium for 8 gigabytes um, of uh, just having a laptop with 8 gigabytes is in the fact that usually the, the when you most of them in that cheaper um, uh, uh, the, the cheaper ones usually have like a soldered module there and then you have to increase but then again you don't take advantage of the fact of the DDR thing there uh, hopefully this will uh, give more options for example uh, I saw some models that have like 16 gigabytes uh, or no not 16 uh, 14 gigabytes there are some strange configurations and maybe with this you can uh, go about and and remediate the situation here I, i'm not sure uh, but at least we got at least one module of 12 gigabytes is like a, a little bit above uh, the minimum requirements for you to run um, the pc with the windows uh, hopefully the, this will give a lot of more options also in terms of pricing and and uh, what kind of uh, memory will come with the laptops from now on uh, and hopefully more uh, manufacturers will adopt this uh, this kind of because ddr5 is able to handle this pretty good and uh, even the ddr um, performance there uh, if you have two kits uh, I, I think it's uh, uh, it doesn't affect the performance there in terms of the memory stuff there but for lower end uh, um, like setups even for laptops i think uh, it, the fact that you have the ddr thing the double data uh, rate stuff I don't think it uh, influences too much on, on terms of performance but yeah it's good to see uh, and lastly uh, we got direct x12 uh, I saw something on the digital foundry foundry yeah 
videos they were talking about this uh, new version uh, of direct x12 they got the the from what i understand um this will enable in, in terms of things running in, with this api with certain tasks be running and uh, not running but uh, being um automatically executed by the gpu without the need to ask uh, permission let's say or for the cpu uh, to, to to run these things which basically uh, i don't know if gaming apply that much in terms of cpu bottlenecks in terms of workloads with the direct x uh, so this is basically um, it eliminates to a certain degree in certain uh, tasks to ask permission to the cpu because then the gpu has to send a signal to ask for the cpu for more tasks uh, to be done and then the cpu uh, just tells the gpu which uh, which tasks need to be done and that bottleneck of uh, sending single to one side to the other it's eliminated so basically uh, it is something that it's run through the api from what i understand from this and then the the gpu can do certain tasks uh, autonomously without the needing of asking the cpu permission which uh, it's good because uh, at this moment in time in terms of certain tests the, the gpu is way more powerful than the cpu and eliminating that bottleneck will leave the cpu uh, free to have uh, to do other tests or to complete the test that it needs to be done uh, more quickly and without the interruption of uh, asking permissions from other components mainly the gpu uh yeah that's just from what i got from everything here uh, the, like the technical side that's uh, what i got from there uh regarding gaming news not much happening uh but supposedly uh cd project red is done let's say with <laughs> cyberpunk at this moment in time and when they say they are done it's like working on huge patches and uh, uh, uh and the such even though from time to time uh for sure we will see here and there some small patches on certain uh, like specific things here and there that are going to be fixed here and there uh there was this was said basically when they come with a, a 2.0 version but then they launched a patch 2.1 uh which uh, it bra uh, it brought some like the metro system and, and some uh other stuff and then we got uh, later uh, 2.11 version of the game that uh, fixed some finishing animations and such again uh i think uh, what we will see is uh, because they, they they are focusing on other stuff mainly the sequel for cyberpunk the witcher 4 and all that the other uh, up, um, projects that they have um I, yeah i i think they are uh, just working here and there because again uh cyberpunk is the last game that they they, they are doing on the um, red engine and now they are turning everything to um unreal engine 5 so it's going to be a huge task for them internally um but again for sure some developers will have some still uh, proficiency of working with the red engine and maybe they have an idea that uh, some issue that can be solved uh, uh, quickly or uh, easily and will not interfere with their current job at least that's the the quotes that we have from um from the guy which is the uh, game director uh, gave a manga tell manga jello sorry which is the name there but yeah the don't expect we we, we shouldn't expect like huge uh, patches like that basically will change the diversion uh, to a bigger degree on on the game itself uh, resident evil 4 remake uh, suppose now is uh, topping 7 million copies sold again i assume this also has to do with the uh, mac iphone 5 but the thing that they did some of games are doing death training also came out on the mac systems or apple systems in mac and 5 uh, iphone 5 15 pro and on ipad also again it's not a huge difference but uh, half a million copies is half a million copies and uh, they say here uh, the entire franchise uh, exceeded 150 million units sold since it first debuted in 1996, which is a lot, even though there are a lot of games. Uh, but yeah, uh, good to see that it's selling well. Uh, Capcom is uh, doing excellent in the, these last releases that they did. Uh, and on the 
on the Resident Evil franchise, the remakes are being uh, pretty good in terms of feedback from uh, either players and also so the reviewer side. Uh, and yeah, this is one of those, uh, I played the original, not the original, but I played the PC port when it came out a, lot of, a long time ago. Uh, I remember playing it, I uh, don't remember very well, like even the the, the huge um, the huge setups that they have or, or even the, 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 the main story, I don't remember very well. I, I remember playing around it. Uh, but I don't remember very well how the story proceeds. I know it starts on the village and everything. You got the, the, the chainsaw guy on the beginning. Uh, but yeah, uh, this is one of those that I will be playing one of these days. I still need to go through the, the like the soft reboot for Resident Evil 7 and Resident Evil 8 first, uh, the village. Um, but yeah, uh, uh, pretty good. It's good news that the, the games are that are coming out are good, for, especially from Capcom. Because we've got the Dragon Dragon's Dogma 2 and Monster Hunter. They, they, they're being very good launches. And uh, the continuing like this uh, again. And I think, yeah, Capcom, they did the... Uh, they increased salaries and bonuses for, for the developers and employees. Because they are doing so good. Again, uh, I like to see this kind of thing. Um, and lastly, we got something uh, like a teaser trailer. That, uh, it's a detective noir adventure game. Nobody wants to die. Uh, it's been announced. Again, uh, the trailer here seems uh, it's intriguing. Uh, it's kind of a cyberpunk-ish kind of a thing there, happening in terms of the mood set. And the guy has like this device here. Uh, seemingly can manipulate time or something like that. Uh, very interesting. Uh, very Bioshock themes there also in terms of the noir vibes of the first Bioshock. So very interesting. I already wish listed to follow up on this game. Um, supposedly we don't have still... Um, no, we don't have a, a, a release date, but it, it's a tease of announcement basically. Uh, again, I assume... Oh, wait. Uh, coming in this year okay we might see some news in the meantime uh, probably later this year uh, this is from play on the publisher so yeah we'll have to wait and see but uh again uh i already wish lisa to keep my track on this game to see any kind of news um yeah we got news this is what i got got some gaming deals on steam resident evil franchise is still on sale, so uh, I will leave all the Resident Evil games um, on the description that are on sale here on Steam. Again, I just highlighted Resident Evil 2 Remake. Uh, again, uh, one of those great remakes that I did. Uh, we got also the Outer Worlds. Uh, this is the base version, uh, around 10 hours or so when the game, uh, sorry, when the video is published. Um, and we got also this Spacer's Choice Edition upgrade bundle. Uh, which is the, the, the uh, improved um, visual stuff. I, I think it's a little bit better, uh, and, but you got the non-mandatory corporate sponsor model, which is the, the, the DLC stuff there. Uh, we got Dredge, 30% off. Again, almost finished. It will finish up today, uh, this deal. And uh, lastly, we got Planet of Lana, around two days or so still. Uh, no, one day, uh, one day and a half until it uh, closes off this deal, so uh, take advantage of this one, seems pretty good. And on the GOG front, we got the Talos Principle. Uh, again, I never played this game, but uh, it uh, has pretty good reviews. Uh, a puzzle, 3D puzzle game here, first person, supposedly you got a robot, you got some story uh, on the environment there. And it's always been a, a, a good recommendation for everybody that likes puzzle games. And it's 75% off on GOG. And lastly, you've got War Tales, 25% um, off, very similar, at least from what I understand, from uh, Checkered Alliance kind of a g uh, gameplay there. It's got tactical waste game like XCOM, got the uh, squad management, and, and there is a lot of stuff there. It's like a bunch of mercenaries, and then you need to uh, manage those things also. Uh, yeah, and it seems pretty good. Uh, and yeah, basically this is what I got for you today. I'm just going to uh, wrap up with a plug on my Patreon. Again, I've been posting vi the videos here, but it's... Uh, I don't know what's happening here Let lately, last couple of days. I've been posting the same way. I don't know what's happened on Patreon there. Sometimes they have some quirks here and there. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, 
the Patreon is for extra support. Uh, at this moment in time, uh, I'm direct. Uh, I'm more urgent on the storage side uh, for me to be able to have backups of backups of stuff that I do for my clients and some extra space for the videos that I do for the channel. Yeah, basically this is it. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next one. Until then, I'm your master out.